hi everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to do some hand stitching the reason why I decided to do this video is because I'm going to be uh, hand stitching a lot on my videos and um, I'm not going to be using a uh, sewing machine so I decided to show you guys um, what I do so the first stitch is going to be a straight stitch this is what it looks like both front and back and the second stitch is going to be a straight stitch too but the back is going to be a little bit different as you can see from the first arm stitch and the second stitch so there is going to be different and the third stitch is just a hem stitching which you can use on the edges of your pants shirt or whatever it is that you want to um, hem okay so that is what I'm gonna show you today okay and also just in case you just want to know I'm wearing a wig I had it for about two years now and um, it's about maybe like 20 inches long so I get up so you can see the length of it so yeah so let's um, get started okay so now we're gonna start our stitching so all you need is some pieces of fabric maybe scrap fabric that you have lying around scissors to cut it in little pieces I already pre-cut mine needle needle and some thread so I'm using a black thread so that um, you will be able to see the stitching on the fabric which is white fabric okay so we're gonna start with the first stitch which is this one okay so you just get your needle and thread you thread it you thread your needle okay so you take your fabric can make it two pieces so that um, when you're done you can flip it or turn it so you can see what the other side is like all right so all you have to do is I hope you can see what I'm doing put your needle through your fabric you have to make sure you um, stitch it like maybe two or three times here at first so that it doesn't um, come apart it doesn't fall up so you basically knot in it okay so you knot it once you knot it like that. now you can start to stitch side and then you pull it right and then you push it through and then you pull it through like that and then continue keep going back and forth okay like so just keep going back and forth Push it through the front. And through the back. Pull it. Okay. If you already know how to do this hand stitching, that's fine. Um, you can just um, 
watch leave your comment below just to let me know what you think um, yeah so you just have to keep going until you reach okay where you want to stop you can make the stitches smaller okay show you okay a little bit smaller so basically the space will be a little bit closer want it to be smaller okay like that And then when you reach the end of your fabric, excuse me, then you just um just have to knot it. And then you just can do it about maybe three times let's watch what I'm doing okay like that. see once you've done once you knot it you can just cut Front and back is basically the same. This is the inside of it. It's the back. So that's the first one. And then the second one is this one. It's almost the same as the first one. Okay. I'm going to show you, so I'm just going to get a longer piece of needle and um, thread. So you basically start the same way as you did the first stitching, okay. I'm just putting it starting like this because I'm going to hide the, the the edge see like that I'm gonna hide it and then pull it through then you have to knot it okay just put it through a couple of times like that and then swatch closely you put the needle through pull it out the back And then to the back to the front so now what you need to do instead of going forward you go backward like right in the middle to the back like that okay. and then you go to the back Put the needle through, leave a little space, put the needle through to the front. Okay, so you go in the middle. And go to the back. Give some space. Just like you did the first one. Only the front you go in the middle, see like that. doesn't have to be perfect okay so and then back And then pull it. 
see what the back looks like so you just have to continue until you reach the end of your fabric okay and then once you reach the end of your fabric all you have to do is some um, just mat it this is the back and this is the front okay so you can just mat it put it through a couple of times and then you can go like this can go once or twice like like this one two okay then you pull it okay then you cut once you're done back front once you're done you just cut The last one, so I'm just gonna um, tie the end of my needle, my, my thread, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So last thing I'm gonna be doing is this one. So you get a piece of fabric. Before I start this third one, I forgot to show you what it looks like when you turn it. Okay, that's the inside. Okay. So the last one, so you do depending on what you what edge you're gonna stitch you fold it like this and then you fold the other one in like that you can use your pin to hold it together you can have pin too to make it easier for you just pin it together Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is practicing, anyways. Okay, so you take your needle and thread. Sorry. Usually take it from the inside to hide the end of the thread. through to knot it okay and then now you go over the fabric to the other side and push it through like that go over yeah so you go um, you go over the fabric See, so basically, you you sewing from back to front, okay? Back to front. Back to front. So you keep going until you reach the end of your fabric where you want to stop. Okay. 
that's basically what you need to do it's not hard it's very easy to do it simple so once you're done you can just um, knot it So that's basically it. Then once you're done, you cut. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are uh, have any questions you can leave it in the comment box below and um, if you already know how to do hand stitching uh, you can uh, let me know your opinion um, yeah so thank you and I'll see you on my next video